Today we're going to go through the installation process for Web ODM. Here's a brief overview of the installation steps. The first step is to go to the Web ODM website and have a look at the instruction manual and the minimum hardware requirements. The link is added in the description and here's a brief overview of the installation hardware requirements and just where you can find the installation manual, which is a bit outdated. For the next step, we'll need to go into the task manager to see if visualization is enabled. You can select control or delete or type in task manager in the search bar. After the task manager has opened, you can navigate to the performance section and at the bottom of the screen, um, you'll see whether visualization is enabled or not. If visualization is not enabled, you'll need to go into the boot menu and enable visualization. This process differs for different computer manufacturers. I've linked um, a few videos in the description. You can go have a look at that. The link in the description takes you to the Microsoft Store. Um, it's the easiest to install Python from the Microsoft Store. If you use the official Python website, just remember to tick um, install Python path. This will make the following steps a lot easier. After you click download, you can just run the executable and then you can wait um, until the installation is complete. Python will open at the end. Okay, you can then just close Python and we can go to the next step. The next step is to um, install Docker. You can go to the official website. The link is added in the description. Um, then you can click on the install for Windows, the 64-bit version. You can run the executable when the download is complete um, for the installation to start. And then you can just follow the prompts um, by selecting OK. When the installation is done, Docker will ask you to restart your computer. I unfortunately didn't record the restarting section. Uh, after Docker was installed and your computer was restarted, there are a few steps that need to be followed. Um, this is also linked in the description. We need to install the WSL2 kernel. You can download the EXE and run the EXE just uh, by following the prompts. You can just say OK, um, yeah, and then you can continue with the installation. You can select Finish, um, and then we can move to step five, which will require you to open um, Microsoft Power Shell. Um, you can copy and paste the um, instruction here and run it in PowerShell. After setting the WSL2 as your default kernel, you can close PowerShell. Step 5 is to install Ubuntu. Um, the link is in the description. Um, the installation can be done from the official Microsoft website. Installation is free. Um, you can just click download, run the executable, and then allow Ubuntu to be installed. Ubuntu will open automatically. You can select your name, just use lowercase characters and you can select the password and then retype the password. You'll then be greeted with uh, installation done successfully. Um, then we can minimize the Ubuntu 
home page and open Docker. From here we can just follow the setup steps. Select finish. We can skip the section. We can skip the section as well. Okay. Then we can allocate resources to um, the Ubuntu terminal. You can just put that on and then apply and restart. Now we're getting to the actual installation process, step six. Um, so we, you can type in sudo apt update and this is just to update uh, a list in the Ubuntu terminal. It's going to ask you for your password the first time. Okay, so the next step will be to um, get clone the web ODM map. Um, so I just made a syntax error. This information is in the description link. Um, second time it was done correctly and you can see cloning um, into web ODM. Okay, following step would be to CD web ODM which is the equivalent of double clicking on a folder um, and then I made a mistake there you should type in sudo backslash and the instruction but it, it, it will be added in the description correctly so now the installation process has started and has completed okay now we can go into the your Chrome browser and you can type localhost with this address which would also be in the description okay and that was the installation process for web odm please uh, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful